You got a pretty big price on your head, Mr. Scavenger. Why should I help you? Instead of turning you in. I take it I'll have to make it worth your while. In Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, an extension of the popular J.K. Rowling Harry Potter saga, Eddie Redmayne chases down mythical creatures set loose in the streets of New York in 1926. In her review, Manola Dargis writes, Unlike the Potter movies, which grew darker and heavier as Harry and the series developed, Fantastic Beasts is playing peekaboo with the Abyss right from the start. The title critters are whimsically entertaining and occasionally as entrancing as those animals both real and imagined crawling through a medieval illuminated manuscript. These beasties provide a lot of the movie's easygoing pleasures. The adults are rather less engaging. It's no wonder that this fantasy, with its cheery enchantments and portentous inky swirls, its steely grays and tight pacing, feels familiar. So setting a pack of dangerous creatures loose here was It was just another accident, is that right? Why would I do it deliberately? To expose wizard kind, to provoke war between the magical and non-magical worlds. 